Hello guys, this is Sir Sam, if this channel helps you, please subscribe and leave your comments and hit the notification bell for more updated video tutorial. Thank you. Okay, uh, magandang araw sa inyo lahat, sa ating pong, uh, mga viewers, sa ating mga co-teachers, and then sa ating pong mga estudyante. So, today's topic is about how to use hyperlink in PowerPoint. So, samahan nyo ka guys. Let's go! Hyperlink is a word phrase or image that you can link on to jump to a new document. So, yan po yung mag-jump sa another document or a new section within the document. Okay, o yung current document. Hyperlinks are found in nearly all web pages, allowing users to click their way from page to page. So, meron din po yung steps by steps na procedure on how to create hyperlink. Number one, select the text or images that you want to hyperlink. Number two, right click on the text or image you selected and click on hyperlink and then number three you will see an insert hyperlink dialog box which opens on clicking hyperlink so mag uh, mag uh, appear po yung dialog box okay yung hyperlink po na yan insert a hyperlink to exist file so, yung mga existing file, makikita po natin yan, or web pages. Placing in this document, create new document, and email address. So, yan po yung pwede natin gamitin sa atin pong hyperlink. At saan po natin makikita? Number one is from current folder. Number two is from browsed pages yung mga na i, nabuksan na natin mga web pages entry from recent files yung mga ginamit na natin mga files so sample ng atin pong hyperlink ito pong uh, naka, may kulay na ito no? so iba yung kulay nya pag kinlik po natin ito mariredirect po tayo sa isa pang uh, files ok Ayan, ito po yung ginamit natin nung nakaraang video tutorial. Yung disadvantages of ICT. Icon for save files. So, ayan po yung example ng atin pong hyperlink. So, ang gagawin natin today ay gagawin naman natin yung hyperlink. Ayan. Okay, open po tayo ng atin pong uh, PowerPoint. So, ayan. Ito po yung ginamit natin ano, nakaraan. So, ang gagawin natin is i-highlight natin itong save files. So, pagkatapos natin i-highlight, i-right click natin at makikita po natin yung hyperlink. Click po natin yan. Ayan po. Insert hyperlink to existing file or web page place in this document create new document and email address so lahat po yan ay itatakil po natin gagamitin po natin today so dito po muna tayo sa existing file paano siya gagamitin uh, hanapin po natin siya sa current folder ayan click po natin current folder 
and then meron pong drop down yan arrow ayan hanapin po natin depende po kung saan po natin isinave yung atin pong files so sa, nasa desktop po yung gagamitin natin yung empowerment technology so click po natin pili po tayo dito ICT platforms ang gagamitin natin then click ok so nagbago po yung atin pong uh, text ano po so ibig sabihin meron na po yung hyperlink yan pwede po natin gamitin yung control sa ating pong keyboard at pag uh, hinold po natin yan magbabago yung ating cursor ayan naging uh, hand uh, cursor yung atin pong mouse so pag kinlik po natin yan marirederect po tayo doon sa another file so click po natin ayun so naridirect po tayo and then gamitin naman natin yung another hyperlink so highlight po natin yung ICT and then right click then click hyperlink yan, now gamitin naman po natin yung place in this document so, click natin yan yan so, from uh, first uh, slide ay gagamitin natin yung uh, pip slide nya ito po kiklik po natin ito yan, marirederect po tayo doon sa panglima ito po, dito po from first slide, magjujump doon sa pang fifth slide ok, click po natin yung ok and then magbabago ulit yung atin pong ICT text magbabago po ng kulay yan so try natin click ok ayun so nagbago po ibig sabihin meron na po yung link So, hold control and then click. Tinana, tinan natin kung magjajump po doon sa ating slide. No? Sa pang pip slide. Click natin. Ayun. So, nagjump po siya sa pang pip slide. Okay. Hyperlink again tayo. Gamitin natin yung ibang link. So, technologies. I-right click po natin ulit. And then, click natin yung hyperlink. Ngayon naman, ang gagamitin natin is create new document. So, click natin to. And then, nakalagay dyan, name of new document. So, lalagay na kagad natin ng ating uh, pangalan no? ng ating new document. So, kailangan uh, pag, sa pag-create ng new document no, ilagay nyo na kagad yung inyong file name okay, para ma malaman ninyo kung ano yung file name na i-create ninyo okay, madaling tandaan yun kapag alam po ninyo yung file name so search sum and then click natin yung ok and then magpapakita dyan yung blank powerpoint ok so click natin link create new
then Sir Sam uh, change natin ng uh, location lagay natin sa desktop then click ok Ayun. May kapangalan na pala. So, palitan natin yung ating pangalan. Okay. Okay. Ayan. So, may kapangalan na pala si Sir Sam doon. <laughs> okay. Si San Sam na lang yung gamitin natin. Alright. So, ganyan po yung nangyari. No? So, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, blank uh, document. So, next naman natin is yung i-hyperlink natin ay yung hyperlink natin yung email address ayan say let's say biometrics okay right click natin yan and then click hyperlink again gamitin natin yung email address ayan so email address ni sir sam Subject natin is ICT. So, nilagay na natin yung mail to. So, um, i-email si Sir Sam. So, titingnan natin yan mamaya kung meron na siyang email na sa so, wabuksan natin yan. So, click natin. Okay. Ayan. So, nagbago ng uh, nag-change color yung biometrics. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang uh, hyperlink. Okay. So, hold natin yung control and then click natin. So, mag a yung ito kita ko lang po sa inyo kung ano yung nag-appear dito sa Nag-appear po siya dito sa kabila. Ayan. Yan po yung nag-appear. No? Click lang po natin itong uh, nakalagay po dyan, how do you want to open this uh, mail? No? Click lang po natin to. Click. Okay. O, oh, pwede yung ah uh, Google Chrome. No? Try po natin itong mail. So, ayan. So, pwede natin i-email si Sir Sam. 
Ano po? Add an account. So, pwede natin i-email si Sir Sam dito. Through the use of Outlook or Office 365, Google, Yahoo, or I iCloud. So, meron din po tayo nitong uh, account ng uh, POP and IMAP. So, depende po yan sa inyong hyperlink. Paano nyo po gagamitin. Alright. So, for that, thank you for watching. Hello guys, this is Sir Sam. If this channel helps you, please subscribe and leave your comments and hit the notification bell for more updated video tutorial. Thank you.